with the ST Electronics Micro STM. So this is the STM website. Now in this you will see that there are products and under products there are many varieties from like automotive, analog, power. These are like clock timers, ICs. These they also provide up power electronic devices, ICs, and all such kind of uh, electronic components. Also radio frequency based like IoT based some RFID and NFC tags also. The main things which will be focusing this on this is microcontrollers and microprocessors. STM32 with ARM based, ARM based high end microcontrollers which are also divided further on the four categories which you can see here. And then ARM microprocessor and the STM 8 bit are the low end 8 bit microcontrollers. Main focus will be STM32, 32 bit ARM Cortex microcontrollers. Now the first question which must came to your mind is that what is this ARM, ARM Cortex? Okay, what is this ARM? You, STM32 is company name. 32 bit is the bit size of a microcontrollers and what is ARM Cortex? My MCU we can understood what exactly ARM is. See the ARM Cortex are the processors which are being designed and licensed by the okay, ARM developers. Now there are two things to understand first. The processor hardware is the Cortex M4, M3 and what instructions a microprocessor can run that are defined by the instruction set architecture that are ARM, ARM, v8, ARM v8, ARM v7 or those so let, let me just ARM developer website which will be focusing for studying the ARM processor now under this you will see there are many uh, these, these things headings IP products, tools and software, architecture, solutions, community etc etc the main focus will be are on IP products and tools and software and architectures not very much on the architecture but just mainly on the IP products and under this my processors okay so like they are licensed and they are only manufactured and designed and uh, the sell by the ARM processors ARM developer ARM is what ARM is a company which designs a processor which designs what instructions a microprocessor can run and it also provides all of its subsystems so as to design a microcontroller on a microprocessor so i hope you get clarified by this statement okay okay so processors and under like many ip products processors graphic and multimedia processor system ip physical ip and many of these are the major concern for our embedded systems and for our iot applications which we see all around of us from IoT to machine learning to all those things which you talk about that we will implement edge computing and TensorFlow AI on the microcontrollers all those comes under the processor system uh, heading in that the main focus area will be are on the Cortex M family of the processors now the another thing which you might be having in your mind is keep what is this Cortex A, Cortex R, Cortex M now the about from where all our discussion starts that we want to first just outbreak this statement STM 32 bit and then ARM Cortex and then MCUs now ARM Cortex is like a subfamily of the processors which is manufactured by ARM developers now under it they have many other families Cortex A, Cortex R, Cortex M Cortex A is uh, Cortex A and Cortex R are, are for very high end processors like the ones which comes in of mobile phones. They all comes under the Cortex A microprocessors. Cortex R these are the very high proficient microprocessors which comes for the supercomputers what we know as okay. And Cortex M is mainly for our, our small embedded devices which we all get to know and work gets our hands on mainly. So now going to the Cortex M okay so now under it there are again many sub subfamily so we'll come this will come up on this later on so i hope you get this from this statement you get to know what is the thing so stm32 bit arm cortex cortex arm cortex is the processor the core of our microcontroller is the of arm cortex okay now stm32 bit it has very high uh, family high end family and it has wide number of microcontrollers under it ranging from wireless microcontrollers to ultra low power to mainstream to high performance now all these are our application dependent if you see that which microcontroller is best for starting out the beginners or for this uh, for learning all the things all of these microcontrollers have been designed designed according to their applications and according to their need and the time at which they are manufactured 
एस टी एम थर्टी टू एफ वन इज द वन ऑफ द वेरी ओल्डेस्ट फैमिलीज ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स सो एंड इट्स कॉम्युनिटी इट्स रिसोर्सेज आर वेरी मच अवेलेबल एज कम्पेयर टू अदर फैमिली सो डेट्स वाई मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल यूज टू स्टार्ट विथ थर्टी टू एफ वन ओनली एंड इट्स डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड इज ऑल्सो वेरी इजिली अवेलेबल टू अर्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्लू पेल वॉट वी नो एंड नोन एज ओके सो नॉ स्टार्टिंग विथ द एस टी एम थर्टी टू एफ वन ओके सो नॉ एस टी एम थर्टी टू एफ वन सीरीज नॉ एस टी एम थर्टी टू एफ वन सीरीज अंडर इट ऑल्सो नॉ कम्स हाउ वी स्पेसिफाई द ईच सब फैमिली ऑफ आर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स सो दीज आर बींग कैटेगराइज अकॉर्डिंग टू दी रैम अकॉर्डिंग टू दी फ्लैश अकॉर्डिंग टू द सी पी यू फ्रिक्वेंसी नॉ आई विल जस्ट गिव यू अर वन वन लाइनर एंड जस्ट गिव यू वन थिंग लाइक दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली दिस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स मीन्स एफ सी पी यू फ्रिक्वेंसी लाइक दिस इज वेरी मच क्लियर दिस इज अ फ्रिक्वेंसी एट विच आर माइक्रो प्रोसेसर इज रनिंग एट लाइक ट्वेंटी फोर मेगा थर्टी टू थर्टी सिक्स मेगा सेवेंटी टू मेगा एट विच पर इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एग्जीक्यूट दैट इज कॉन्फिग्रेबल ओके एंड देन दी फ्लैश 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 इज दिस मच एंड रैम इज दिस मच नो दीज आर दी पेरीफेरल्स वॉट एग्जैक्टली आर अरीफेरल जस्ट अ डिवाइस विच इज बींग मेड बाय द नंबर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट्स मेनेचराइज टू वेरी 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 स्मॉल सर्किट्स that we all known as in the field comes as vlsa and vspl so what is our microprocessor is independent unit then we attach a flash memory to give it the memory then we attach the small electronic circuits in the form of uart circuit spi circuit i2c circuit all these are the independent circuits which are being uh, these categorized which are being made inside of one small ic so as a usb fsmc can if i2c i2s sdiu all these are the peripherals which are attached to are these microcontrollers which are inside the single ic theek hai now and again our focus area will be on the stm 22 f103 so for going on further with it सो एस टी एम डेटी टू एफ वन जीरो थ्री के अंदर भी हमारी काफी कैटेगराइजेशन हो जाती है दीज कैटेगराइज आर बींग मेड अकॉर्डिंग टू आर दी फ्लैश मेमोरी विच इज अवेलेबल टू अर्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द एस टी एम डेटी टू एफ वन जीरो थ्री सी एट ओके सिक्सटी फोर किलो वाइट्स ट्वेंटी सिक्सटी फोर किलो वाइट्स ऑफ फ्लैश मेमोरी एंड रैम साइज विल बी ट्वेंटी किलो वाइट्स ओके दिस सी एट और सी बी लाइक जो हमारे ब्लू पेल आते हैं दोज कम आइदर ऑन दी सी एट और सी बी दोनों में से कोई से भी हो सकते हैं दीज आर ऑलमोस्ट क्लोन टू इच अदर जस्ट द डिफरेंस इज ऑफ दी फ्लैश मेमोरी ओके सो नॉ एस टी एम थर्टी टू एफ वन जीरो थ्री सी बी ओके इवीनियन ओवरव्यू की हमारा एस टी एम थर्टी टू बिट आर्म माइक्रो प्रोसेसर्स के अंदर सब फैमिलीज क्या होती है कैसे होती है क्या क्या चीजों के बेसिस पे कैटेगराइजेशन होती है Another very important factor which I have not told as of yet is that the character they they are being char characterized according to the processor which they have. My like my the main thing which I want to convey with this line is that as I have told you that these are our STM thirty two bit ARM Cortex microcontrollers. Now ARM Cortex M is the family which we will be focusing on. Okay. Now under the ARM Cortex M there are many sub families. M for M uh, M fifty five M thirty five as you can see over here the screen. Now here again our main focus as a student or as a hobbyist or as a beginner the main processors which people generally used to start with is either with M zero plus M three or M four. M three uh, the F one zero three which I am talking about this one okay this one has ARM Cortex M three okay the blue pill has an ARM. Now, if you but you can also see that there are controllers like of STM thirty two F three, STM thirty two G four. There are many controllers which have M four mic the ARM Cortex microprocessor. Some has ARM zero microprocessor also. Okay, so depending upon our application, depending upon our need, the there are sub families of microcontrollers have been categorized. Okay, I have told you the differentiation between the STM thirty two family sub family. same way out there is a differentiation between these sub families of arm cortex microprocessors in what way these categories are been there so that's it for now like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos and share it with your friends